And breaking now, a Morgan County Sheriff's deputy is in an Indianapolis hospital after she was shot during a SWAT situation this morning north of Martinsville. And we've just learned that the teenager who pulled the trigger is dead. We have reporters at the scene of the shooting in Morgan County, which is still active, and at IU Methodist Hospital, where the deputy is now being treated. We begin with Nico Panisi at the hospital. And Nico, what can you tell us about her condition? Right now, Deputy Mallory Schwab is alert, awake, and talking here at IU Methodist Hospital. That's according to the latest update we received from the Morgan County Sheriff's Office. The Sheriff's Office says Deputy Schwab was shot in the upper right shoulder while conducting a wellness check at around 7.30 this morning. The bullet went through her body. Morgan County Sheriff Richard Meyer says Schwab is a veteran law enforcement officer, but she's new to the department just starting this month. Beforehand, she was with the Martinsville Police Department for more than four years and is an Army reservist. Sheriff Meyer spoke to Deputy Schwab in the hospital. I did uh, talk to her before she left, and uh, uh, knowing Mallory, uh, she was sitting up in a lot of pain, uh, but I reached in to, to kiss her and to hug her. And she said, well, I can't tell you what she said, but she said, don't do that, Sheriff, it hurts. <laughs> so when she was shot, but... Uh, She's good shape. We're thankful. As you can see, an emotional response from Sheriff Myers, and you can see in that photo right there, we see Schwab smiling with her thumbs up and in good spirits. Sheriff Myers says what happened today is the greatest fear of any law enforcement leader who feels a strong responsibility for the men and women out in the line of duty. He thanks God that she's alive and recovering well. And again, Deputy Schwab is here at IU Methodist, surrounded by loved ones and other law enforcement agents. The uh, Indiana State Police will take over this investigation from this point and will be continuing to update you with the latest information. Reporting live, Nico Panisi, WRTV. So good to see her there with a smile and a thumbs up in that photograph. Nico, thank you. We now move to Morgan County where this happened. The shooting scene is in a rural area north of Martinsville. That's where WRTV's Adam Shumes continues our coverage. Adam. Yeah, Mark, good afternoon. Investigators just telling us moments ago that barricaded teen inside that home has been found dead. Now, for context, that home is near Rob Hill Road and Beach Grove Road in Morgan County. That's where deputies say Mar Mallory Schaub was shot earlier this morning. As we just heard from our Nico Panisi, Deputy Schaub is in good condition. Now, updates have been coming from the Johnson County Sheriff's as well as the Indiana State Police, who, who have been helping with the investigation since Morgan County Sheriff is at the hospital with his injured deputy. Now let's get you to the latest right now. Sheriff Dwayne Burgess says that that suspect, a teenage boy, was found dead more than four hours after this all started. They said he was the only person inside the home. Investigators say this all began when a teenager called 911 after seeing posts on social media about a young man trying to harm himself at that home. Deputies conducted a welfare check at the home and they say someone from inside that home shot at deputies one bullet hit it, Deputy Schwab. Any call within law enforcement, uh, whether it's a non-threatening call, can instantly turn into uh, a lethal situation. Uh, that happens routinely with traffic stops. Uh, it also happens in this case uh, with welfare checks, which is what this was. Now, Johnson County Sheriff Dwayne Burgess says Morgan County deputies had tried communicating with the teen inside the home in attempt to end this situation peacefully, but just as we heard from Indiana State Police, that teen is dead. Now we're expected to learn more about this whole situation coming up at a press conference later this afternoon at the Morgan County Sheriff's Office. We'll continue to bring you updates on that situation as we learn more. But for now, we're live in Morgan County. I'm Adam Shumes, WRTV. Mark. A Adam, thank you.